Hey guys, Alexander Williamson here. We got a quick video. I know it's kind of gross, but <clears throat> what can your sink or your toilet bowl tell you about your water and thus help you manage whatever it may be uh, in your fish tanks, in your aquarium? So there's actually a lot you can learn from your toilet bowl and your sinks or just places that your tap water builds up. So don't pay attention to things like water outside or water that's maybe pooled up like on a counter somewhere in here. Uh, that may not, that may have leached something like, I know this is gross as a toilet, but uh, this is rust. So that is because it's a cast iron old toilet, it's chipping, you can see that. Okay, so what we're looking for though is below the water level of every day and you're looking to see what colors you see. So I have a subtle pink color, and this is common in usually in really soft waters, waters without a lot of anything in them. And what it means is you probably, same thing going on here, you probably live in a really damp climate. Now here, we get that build up, let's see if we get it other places in the kitchen too that I can think of, but we get that build up pretty regularly and we have to kill it each week. The other buildup we get that you may also get if you live in a humid location or a place where it rains a lot with a low pH. So Florida, it's a possibility to the humidity that your, your water may have this, but it will probably also have calcium or lime scale, which we'll get to in a minute. But the other thing that you may get is a black, brown, green, or blue mold. And so those are all bad, but those are all airborne bacteria. So that doesn't inform you of your water for sure, but it's a good indicator that you probably have fairly soft water without much in it. So what other colors are there that you guys see in your tap? So let's think about this. There's brown, red, and orange. And I'm grouping those all together because those are usually an indication of iron or possibly if it's darker orange or brown, it could be manganese. So if you're seeing a color, something like this or this, anywhere in between there with you know browns mixed in, that's most likely iron rust. But if you're seeing a color that's closer to the dark parts of that soil there, that's almost something like, something like this black piece here, <clears throat> that is oftentimes manganese rust. And that's usually when you're on a well system. That's when you'll see that. But all of these things have different consequences for your fish and your invertebrates especially. So obviously your TDS is determined by things like the iron in your tank, the uh, floating particles. Your TDS is your total dissolved solids. I have several videos that explain that in depth if you want to know about that. But if you have iron, that's definitely going to be one that's built up. Now, iron, you may want a little. So if you have red plants and things, or purple, reds and purples, you need a little bit of iron. Same with manganese. Some plants need a little bit of manganese. Now, I'm talking trace amounts. If it's building up in your sink quickly over a week or two, or in your toilet, or rings around the bathtub, then you know that you've probably got an issue that's compounding a little bigger. Now the most common issue that you probably have faced is scale or white uh, soap scum, bath scum, whatever you want to call it. It's not really soap scum usually. It is a scale and it's flaky. It builds up around the edges. A lot of times it looks kind of like a white crystalline crusty kind of stuff. And if that has tones of red and orange in it, you likely have iron as well. But really what that's telling you is that you have hard water. So you have salts, you have other dissolved minerals in there. So that may mean that your KH and your GH, your general hardness, and your uh, carbonates, your available calcium in your water is very high. Now for certain shrimp, that's a good thing. For other shrimp, that's too high and it's an issue. So all these things, though, are clues that you can use <laughs> next time you clean the bathroom to help out your, your little critters. Now, the worst one on here, I would have to say, is if you see a blue or green ring around your toilet or your bathtub, whatever it may be, that is oftentimes caused if, it's not, if you're not putting some sort of detergent or like self 
cleaning toilet bowl stuff in there. That's often caused by actual low pH, <clears throat> which is acidity in the water, and it's actually eating the copper off. And as that comes out through your pipes, especially in older houses over time, it can erode in your hot water heater and in your and in your pipes themselves and come out and stain the faucet. So if you see that turquoise, bluish color, greenish color like the Statue of Liberty, that is a bad sign because copper is known to kill shrimp and invertebrates really quickly. So just keep in mind the the different colors that you may encounter, you know, red and orange and and uh darker browns could be iron, pink and tan could be uh different types of of bacteria, black and uh, a bluish green that's dark is oftentimes an airborne bacterial. It can be black mold too, which can be unhealthy for you. All this, also this mold and bacteria that's out there, fungus and bacteria, also means that it has the chance of going into your tank or in the hang off the back filter onto your plants, things like that. So be aware of that too. Not all of it's harmful, some of it's totally benign, but it's worth looking into if you have a lot of it present. Here we know that I have pink around everywhere and my water has a TDS of about 28. So it's very, very low, but it shows you that bacteria in the air, which is floating around the house, is settling there and growing colonies easily. And I also get this gross gooey film, like a biofilm, but it's some sort of bacterial film, even in a cup of water if I leave it there for a week just to, sh to see what happens. So that's something to know that I have to combat that. I have to inoculate my water with something better. So I hope you guys learned a little something. If you have colors that I didn't mention here, like purple or something like that, I don't know what that might be other than blue can also be like cobalt or chromium, but that's probably not happening unless you live like near a mine or something along those lines. So I hope these little tips helped a little bit. Iron, copper, and bacteria are the ones you should really know, and that helps inform pH and TDS. If you like this and learn something, subscribe and hit that bell.